The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is all over Facebook and YouTube at the moment. People are pouring buckets of ice cold water over their heads to raise money for ALS research. If you were going to do the challenge and you were worried that your water was too cold, how could you raise the temperature? Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we are going to talk about subtracting integers. If the ice water was too cold, one way you could raise the temperature would be to add warmer water. That's going to raise the temperature. The second way would be to remove all the ice. If you did that, the temperature should, uh, the temperature of the water should raise up a little bit. Uh, now, if you remove all the ice, technically it's no longer ice water; it's just water. But Removing, in math, we think of that as subtraction. And the ice in the ice water, we could think of as a negative integer. So you'd be subtracting negative integers. Let's look at uh, some more problems with subtracting negative and positive integers. All right, before we start talking too much about subtracting integers, uh, I've got a problem for us. Compare 5 minus 2, compare that to 5 plus negative 2. Well, 5 minus 2, you guys have done that since probably kindergarten. That's just 3. We know that. 5 plus a negative 2, we just practiced in the last video adding integers. 5 plus a negative 2 would give me 3 as well. Let's try another one. If we did negative 6 minus 4 and compare that to negative 6 plus a negative 4. Well, negative 6 minus 4, it's a little more difficult than this. You could think of it uh, using a number line. I'll use black. So I'm starting at negative 6. Here's 0. Maybe there's negative 6. I'm starting there, and I'm subtracting 4, which means I'm going to the left. When we subtract, going to the left 4, that would put me at negative 10. So negative 6 minus 4 would be negative 10. And here, negative 6 plus a negative 4, they're both negatives. When we add them together, my answer is going to be negative. So that's also going to be negative 10. Okay. Now, if I look at this, hopefully you notice that what changed from this left column to the right is that the subtraction became addition. This was a positive 2. This is 5, positive 5, minus a positive 2. The subtraction changed to addition. The positive 2 became a negative 2. Okay. And notice we got the same result. We got the same answer. Same thing here. This subtraction became addition. Uh, notice in both. The, the integer at the beginning didn't change at all. That 5 stayed the same. This negative 6 stays the same. This positive 4 became a negative. So let's see if we can, uh, with this information, if we can make a rule. And hopefully you might, if you want to pause and see if you can come up with your own rule, go for it. Um, but our rule for this, when you're subtracting integers, Subtracting an integer is the same as adding its opposite. Subtracting an integer is the same thing as adding its opposite. Positive 2 and negative 2 are opposites. Positive 4 and negative 4 are opposites. So let's make sure you write that down. Subtracting an integer is the same as adding its opposite. Okay. So we're going to use that information and that rule to help us solve uh, problems with subtracting integers. Let's try an example. 
Here's our first example. As always, if you want to try these on your own, pause the video and see if you, you get them right. First, A, 3 minus 12. If we're using that rule, notice we're subtracting an integer. Uh, subtracting an integer is the same as adding its opposite. You just got to have that memorized. You got to remember it. So I'm subtracting an integer. It's the same as adding its opposite. That 3 doesn't change. The subtraction changes to addition, same as adding its opposite. Well, that's a positive 12. The opposite of positive 12 is negative 12. So 3 plus negative 12, hopefully you're, you're comfortable with adding integers. And if not, watch the previous video. 3 plus negative 12 is negative 9. The next one, negative 8 minus a negative 13. Again, I'm subtracting integers. Uh, it's the same thing as adding its opposite. Negative 8 stays the same. Subtraction becomes addition. And the opposite is 13. Sorry, the opposite of negative 13 is 13. So really, I don't even need my parentheses there because it's a positive 13. So negative 8 plus 13 is going to give me 5. The last one, C. 5 minus a negative 4. 5 stays the same. Same thing as adding its opposite. So that changes to plus. The opposite of negative 4 is 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. And if you also notice, sometimes you'll be able to get a lot quicker with these. If you notice when you have a negative next to another negative, I'm sorry, I should say subtraction next to a negative, that's just going to become uh, a plus, right? You can think of those two kind of coming together and creating the plus. The 13 is just the 13, right? Same thing here. Those That minus and the negative become the plus, plus 4. So that when you get more comfortable with it, you're going to be able to do those a lot quicker. Here's some to try on your own. Example two, notice we've got three integers this time instead of just two. Um, remember, we're subtracting. I can't just rearrange. Uh, I can't put the negative seven over here and combine it with a negative 14 uh, because it's not uh, an addition problem or a multiplication problem. The commutative property doesn't apply at this point. Um, so I'm just going to go left to right. So negative 7 minus negative 12, subtracting an integer, I'm going to change it to an addition. So negative 7 stays the same. Subtracting an integer is the same as adding its opposite. The opposite of negative 12 is 12. Still going to have that minus 14 there. So this is simple. Negative 7 plus 12, that's going to give me 5. And then I have 5 minus 14. Again, here... Subtracting an integer, I can change it to an addition. It's the same thing as adding its opposite. That's a positive 14. So I'm going to change it to negative 14. I'm adding its opposite. 5 plus negative 14 is negative 9. So after simplifying that, we're going to get to negative 9. Here's some more to try on your own. Here's our last example problem. We got a word problem. Uh, which continent has the greater range and elevation? So uh, from the very tip top to the very lowest point. Uh, so we've got North America and Africa. The highest elevation in North America is 6,198 feet. That's Mount McKinley in Alaska. The lowest elevation is Death Valley in California at negative 86 meters. It's negative because it's actually below sea level. Um, in Africa, the highest elevation, 5,895 meters, and the lowest, negative 155 meters. Hopefully, you remember the word range. That should look familiar for, from statistics when you're finding the mean, medium, mode, and range. And if you do remember that, you would remember range is uh, the, the distance from the greatest number to the least. So all you did was subtract. You found the difference, right? That's what difference means. 
We're going to do the same thing. So the range and elevations, we're going to take the highest and subtract the lowest. And that's going to give us the range and elevation. So for North America, let's start with that. We're going to do 6,198 minus negative 86. Subtracting an integer, same thing as adding its opposite. So we're going to change this to 6,198 plus 86, which would give me, let's see, if I take 2 away, that will make it 6,200. So then I'll have 84 left. So 6,284 meters. That's the range and elevation for North America. Let's do the same for Africa. So for Africa, we've got the highest, which is 5,895 meters minus negative 155. Same thing. I'm going to change it to an addition problem. 5,895 plus its opposite, which is positive 155. And if I add those two together, the sum, let's see, take five away, that would make 5,900 plus another 100 would be 6,000 even, and then I'd have 50 left. So 6,050 meters. So the question, which continent has the greater range and elevation? North America. Here's one more problem to try on your own. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.